Well, it's been in for about 10, 11 minutes, something like that. It's looking pretty brown. I'm gonna pull it out and just make sure it's not the lighting inside of there, and, cause I don't wanna burn the bread up. Oh yeah, it looks done, looks good. Looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna call that good. It, uh, it looks so delicious. Sounds good. So that's the way I was told to check this, was to knock on the bottom. Uh, should sound kind of hollow. Looks good. I'm going to get some of this flour off, this raw flour. And uh, I'm going to turn that off. We're going to set this on our rack and let this thing start cooling down. We should be good. I am happy with the way this turned out. I, I don't know. I wish it was a little uh, taller, uh, less oblong. It's not uniform in shape. We can see it's uh, kind of slow, slant, uh, slant, slant uh, I don't know. What do you want to call this? It's it's on an angle over here, sloped. That's what I was going for. Uh, it's got like a sloped edge, but. Uh, Overall, it looks really good. I like this little ear up here. Got some char on it. Looks pretty good. I can't wait to cut this thing open. But again, first this has to cool down for probably an hour or two. Um, we'll check back in on it and hopefully it looks and tastes good. So we'll find out very soon. I can't wait. I think our bread is ready. It's been uh, cooling down for over an hour now. It's uh, Slightly warm to a touch, but it's not hot anymore. So I'm gonna cut this thing in half, see what the inside looks like, and uh, cut a piece off and try it. So let's see what we got. Hopefully it's good. You know, it uh, it feels good. It looks good. We're gonna hope that it is good. So here we go. Here's what we got for crumb. Um, not the best. I would like more air in this area here. Uh, these little air pockets, but doesn't look too bad. Um, looks pretty good to me. So looks, uh, you know, it's it's got some squish to it. I don't know what that term is, but I'm gonna call it squish. Springiness, airiness. Um, it's definitely denser in the middle than it is on the outside. Uh, I'm sure that's having to do something with the way I made the starter or the proofing, something like that, but it smells really good. I'm gonna cut a piece off and we're gonna toast it up and try it. Pretty good, pretty good. Not as sour as I'd want it to be, for my preference, but it's got a little bit of tang to it. Good crust, mm. I like it. Well, I guess that's it. That's the end of this 10 day journey to make this loaf of bread. Now, uh, I did all this so that I could potentially make more bread for the holidays. So you can see I've got a starter back over there. Uh, I need to get it back to life. I forgot to feed it yesterday. Um, and this is all in hopes that I can make bread next week for Christmas. So uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, if it goes like this, 
I think it will be fairly uh, happy with it. But uh, for now, we're gonna call it a call it a day. I'd say uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it's probably uh, a long video at this point, but uh, I do appreciate it. If you like what you see, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.